I also believe that India also has the capability to become a leading producer and exporter of green hydrogen and its derivatives. The Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas has undertaken multiple initiatives to boost hydrogen production capacity in India. Around 54% of India's annual hydrogen consumption is utilized in the petroleum refining sector. We are ensuring the uptake of green hydrogen in refineries and city gas distribution to both public sector entities and private sector. The PSUs under the ministry have targeted to produce more than 1 million metric tons of green hydrogen by 2023. They are in the process of floating tenders for procurement of green hydrogen on build own operate basis about 42 KTPA to be increased to 165 KTPA. The Cochin International Airport has signed an MOU with Bharat Petroleum to develop its first green hydrogen plant in the aviation sector. IOCL has handed over a state-of-the-art green hydrogen fuel cell bus to the Indian Navy. 15 of these buses are also flying on Delhi's roads and when they complete 20 1,000 kilometers, they will also be carrying members of the commuting public. Yale has set up a plant capable of producing 4.3 TPD of hydrogen through a 10 megawatt PEM proton exchange membrane electrolyzer at Vijaypur in Madhya Pradesh. India has made significant progress in the hydrogen sector since the last edition of this conference. We have managed an awarding capacity of approximately 3,000 megawatts for electrolyzer manufacturing, 4,12,000 tons per annum for green hydrogen production, and issued tenders for 4,50,000 tons per annum of green hydrogen capacity and 7,39,000 tons per annum of green ammonia production. The efficiency of green hydrogen produced via electrolysis is typically between 60% and 70% which is higher than the thermal efficiencies of 35% to 60% observed for fossil fuel energy production. Similarly, hydrogen fuel cells are more efficient, 40 to 60%, when it comes to end-use energy conversion efficiency in comparison to internal combustion engines, they have about 20 to 30%. Of course, this ignores the biggest benefit, which is the environmental efficiency Despite energy losses during production and conversion, green hydrogen generates zero direct carbon dioxide emissions. India offers immense potential for hydrogen production. According to the IAEA, the global demand for hydrogen is expected to reach 200 million tons by 2030. India is blessed with abundant natural resources which favor the production of green hydrogen not only for the country but for the entire world. India has a natural advantage in producing green hydrogen due to the low cost and abundance of solar energy and investments in our power grid. India's installed solar capacity has increased by 32 times from 2.6 gigawatt in 2014 to 85.5 gigawatt now. India has also one of the largest synchronous grids in the world capable of handling intermittent renewable energy. India is poised to lead the global green energy demand with rising domestic demand across diverse sectors. With the available engineering talent in our country, India's transition to the greener economy will be a smooth one, helping the country to position itself as a pivotal market for green hydrogen.